as you probably could have guessed by this moment, I have decided in 2020 to run for president. Although you might be erring on the side of interminable disappointment with the fact that Donald Trump is president, if it's any consolation, it means that any celebrity who runs for the highest office in the land has a decent shot. Now, your mind might immediately jump to Kanye, but even if you're not a Yeezy fan, don't worry. There are a ton of celebs who might run for president in 2020. So let's get right to it, right here, right now, on Listed. First, to kick off our long list of celebs who might run for president in 2020 is none other than Empress Oprah Winfrey. Oprah basically set the internet ablaze after her inspiring acceptance speech at the 2018 Golden Globes, and many called on her to make an official announcement. Then, Oprah's BFF of all time, Gail King, shut down rumors of a possible presidency run saying, quote, I would bet my first, second born, and any unborn children to come. That ain't never happening. Never, I'll say never on this one. Never, N-E-V-A-H, never. Oprah even went on to say that she would probably need a sign from God in order to actually run for president. To keep the momentum going, however, Stephen Colbert was happy to oblige. Now, God, I, I don't mean to hurry you along, but is there, you know, something you'd like to tell Oprah? Oh, yeah. I hear thou seekest a sign. Well, is this clear enough? <laughs> Check it out. Her response was a pretty emphatic no, saying that it was a job that you should only do if you're completely devoted to, and she doesn't think she is. I'm pretty sure a huge chunk of people on the internet and across the country still have their fingers crossed. The Rock has also thrown his hat into the ring. At the end of 2017, he made it known on Ellen that he is seriously considering the idea of running for president, and in an interview with USA Today, basically revealed that he never gave the idea much thought until he saw that a lot of people were pretty excited about the possibility of a Rock presidency. Uh, seriously, would you run? I would, I'm seriously considering it, yes. Well, you did. Yeah. He followed up Ellen with saying, quote, so I can tell you with honesty that the consideration comes at the desire from a large amount of people who would like to see this happen. But I mean, honestly, there are so many different variables that have to come into play when you think about this. Politics is not my business, so the consideration is there, and we'll just have to see. And even if he has barely any experience in politics, take a look at Donald Trump. He barely had any before he became president, and now look where he is now in the Oval Office. Anything is possible, people. Katy Perry is another notable celeb who has dabbled with the idea of running to become the 46th president. When Hillary ran for president in the 2016 election, Katy was one of her biggest supporters, so a KP 2020 was not that crazy of an idea, especially because she posted a photo of herself posing between former President George W. Bush and Bill Clinton with the caption, 42, 43, 46. Now, in case you didn't see, that photo was posted in July of 2015, so we know she's been thinking about this for a while. Next up, in the past, Will Smith has saved the Earth many times from aliens and robots and supervillains on the big screen, and now it seems like his next mission might be to save the United States by running for president. Take a look. If people keep saying all the crazy kind of stuff they've been saying on the news, uh, lately about uh, walls and Muslims, I, they're going to force me into the political arena. What are you going to run for? I mean, I got to be the president. So if he ultimately decides not to run, I hope these very public conversations about him running will maybe encourage Jada to run, please. OK, so the next one on our list isn't really that far-fetched at all. George Clooney is a huge activist who's donated a ton of money and worked tirelessly to bring awareness to prevent mass atrocities and genocide, not to mention his spouse is a badass international human rights lawyer. So when he was asked if he would run for president at a red carpet, George said, quote, would I like to be the next president? Oh, that sounds like fun. Can I just say that I'd like anybody to be the next president of the United States? Right away, please. Clooney for president, anyone? You just know that together he and Amal would make the world a better place. And of course, there's no way we could neglect to mention Mr. West. Kanye was basically one of the first celebrities to declare his potential 2020 candidacy, and he did so at the VMAs in 2016. After a super long video Vanguard Award acceptance speech, Ye shocked us all by announcing his decision to run for president. I have decided in 2020 to run for president. And I don't think anyone saw that one coming. And though we still haven't heard anything else from Yeezy or his camp about a potential run, it's still too early to fully count him out of the running. However, when he did meet with then-president-elect Trump in December 2016, he posted several tweets about the meeting, finishing with a slightly cryptic but also pretty obvious hashtag 2024. 
So maybe he's working on a super secret super PAC. Now, this next one might not come as a surprise because she actually ran for president in 2012. Roseanne Barr, the comedian who ran on the peace and freedom platform of marijuana legalization, environmental preservation, and ending wars overseas and equal rights, actually placed sixth in the general election, garnering 49,534 votes. Now, it's possible she would run again in 2020, but she said it would only be in opposition to Oprah or maybe Susan Sarandon, according to The Hollywood Reporter. As a Trump supporter, it's unclear if she would have the same platform as in 2012, but we're sure she'll let us know soon enough. Now, this one you probably haven't heard much about because we're unsure if it was just a one-off joke or if Chris Rock has actually been planning his 2020 run since he tweeted this two days after the 2016 election. So, we haven't really heard anything since, but he could surprise us all. Coming up next, but is not our last one on the list, is the billionaire to rule them all. Now, it's no secret that Mark Zuckerberg kind of already runs the world as the CEO of Facebook, but he's also been doing some political things, like trying to visit all 50 states to meet with people. Oh, and then there's this little detail from a 2016 Facebook SEC filing, which states that, quote, Mr. Zuckerberg's leave of absence or resignation would not constitute a voluntary resignation if it were in connection with his serving in a government position or office. Ooh. Ooh, maybe that's a hint. Another billionaire who's contemplating a presidential run is Shark Tank's Mark Cuban. In an interview with the New York Times, Cuban said, quote, I think that given the circumstances, there's a unique opportunity for someone like me who's independent and not affiliated to a party in any way. People are looking for an independent voice, a real independent voice that has at least an inkling of what they're talking about. It definitely does seem like people are looking for voice and lots of voices are speaking up. People kind of want any voice that doesn't have a nasally accent from Queens. Well, that's a lot of hats thrown in the ring, so I want to know who you're most likely to vote for for president from this list. And if you're not interested in any of these possible candidates, leave your thoughts on who you think should run for president in the comments section below. And when you're done with that, click right over here to check out some of the craziest Trump quotes of all time. Thank you for hanging out with me here on Clever News. I'm Zoe Lillian, and I'll see you next time.